Hi, I'm Dr. Josh Jackson. and welcome to my kitchen. This morning I'm going to be making broccoli salad, a very tasty recipe that I think you're going to love. And the great thing about this recipe is it's loaded with nutrients and it's good. It's actually loaded with water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins, which I'll get into here in just a minute. But we're going to start off with uh, just a, a head of broccoli here and we're just going to simply use the, uh, the crowns of the broccoli. So I'm going to cut off the ends here and we're going to place that at the side. So we're going to use the florets. And so we're going to simply chop these up like so. And broccoli is amazing because it's, it's, it's just packed with so many vitamins and minerals. It's actually loaded with calcium. You can get just from a couple servings of broccoli, uh, your, your whole daily intake of calcium. And so I have a lot of people ask me, well, Dr. Axe, if I don't drink milk, how am I going to get enough calcium? Well, broccoli is a great way to get, you, get plenty of calcium. Now, the other great things about broccoli here, it's also loaded with magnesium. It's loaded with B vitamins, actually very high in protein. Actually, one serving has three grams of protein. You have a few servings. Uh, you're going to be getting close to 10 grams of protein just from eating broccoli. A lot of people don't realize how much, how much uh, protein is in here. And the other thing, it's also loaded with vitamin C. You know, a lot of us, when we think vitamin C, we think of things like oranges um, and different, different citrus fruits. But actually, one serving of broccoli, one cup alone, has as much vitamin C as an entire orange. And so, again, we start off here with the broccoli. And it's kind of up to you how, how, small, you, uh, how small you cut this up. We're just going to take this now and just add it into the bowl here. And then, like I said, the, the stem, you're just going to go ahead and just put that to the side. You may want to juice that or do something else with it. So we've got the broccoli here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up some onion, okay, um, some scallions here. And onion is great because it has allicin and it has sulfur. And sulfur is one of the best substances on the planet for detoxing your body. And so this onion and the sulfur in the onion will actually go through your arteries and start cleaning plaque out of your arteries. You know, recent medical research has shown around 70% of kids ages 15 to 19 years old have placking in their coronary artery. And if you think about that, uh, that's just, it's, it's devastating. And I, I'm seeing this all the time where kids are getting sicker and sicker in America. So again, if you have heart disease, if it's in your family or for kids, again, you're gonna wanna do onions and things like garlic because they're gonna go in and start cleaning out your arteries. And so we've got about a half a cup here of these, of these green onions, which we're gonna add into the recipe here right now. Now, the next thing we're gonna be adding in are sunflower seeds. And sunflower seeds are great because they're loaded in vitamin E. And vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin, but it's one of the top foods on the planet uh, for actually helping out your heart. And so, you know, a lot of people worry about nuts sometimes and seeds and knowing that it has fat, but you gotta remember there's good fat and there's bad fat. And this is full of good, healthy fat, specifically omega-9 fats known as monounsaturated fats and also loaded in the vitamin E, which is a powerful antioxidant. And of all the fat-soluble antioxidants, vitamin E is one of the most powerful at protecting your heart, at helping your body age slower. And if you're an, an athlete, it's also great for recovery. So these are actually a great thing to eat right after you've gone and done a training session. So we're also gonna add in one cup here, or uh, actually a half a cup of these um, sunflower seeds. Sprinkle those on here. Next thing we're gonna be adding in are raisins. And raisins are great, also loaded with antioxidants. And specifically a type of antioxidant that's called resveratrol and also bioflavonoids. Okay, two different types of antioxidants here. And we're gonna take the raisins, half a cup here, and add those in. And that's gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the recipe as well, which is gonna be great. Next thing we're gonna add in is a little bit of red wine vinegar. And vinegar is just, it's amazing. It's, it's really good for your digestive tract. So it, it helps if you're a person who has any sort of digestive issues. Actually also helps boost metabolism. A recent medical study uh, was showing that if you did about a tablespoon of vinegar with your meal, it boosts your metabolism by around 30%. And you can't beat that. You know, there's a lot of people out there doing different, you know, weight loss supplements and, and not just the supplements. I mean, these fad um, chemicals we're putting in our body trying to lose weight. But again, it just doesn't work near as well as something even like vinegar does. There's a lot of health benefits here for losing weight and for helping out your, your digestive health. And what we're going to do here with this is we're going to do about two tablespoons of the, of the vinegar here. So we're just going to pour that in like so. Let that go on here. Okay. Last couple ingredients. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our mayonnaise replacement, which is 
Veginase with grapeseed oil. Now you can go to the grocery store and they have different types of Veginase. Some have canola oil, some have different sorts of oils. You want to go with grapeseed oil. Okay, grapeseed oil is a very healthy type of fat, very healthy type of oil. And you don't want to use canola oil because typically canola oil has been processed, okay, to the point to where um, it's actually gone from, it's, it's actually a bad fat, okay, so it's going to cause disease. Veginase is going to help build health in your body. And so what you're going to do is take Veginase here, and you're going to do about three-fourths a cup here of the Veginase. So we're just going to get a big, big spoonful here, about a couple big spoonfuls, and that should be enough. Let me do a little bit more, add a little bit more right in there. Okay, and that's going to be about it there for the Veginase. So we're going to add that in. And the last thing you're going to add in, and this is to taste, is you can add in a little bit of stevia. Let's say you want to sweeten this up just a little bit more. Um, you can take a pack of stevia, and stevia is great because it's a no-calorie natural sweetener. And you know, a lot of people are using these fake sweeteners today like aspartame and Splenda, and they're going to cause disease in your system. I actually recently uh, got, a, I got a call from one of my patients, and someone had overdosed on Splenda. They were putting too much in their baking and cooking. They got chlorine poisoning and had to go to the hospital. So again, you want to stay away from the Splenda, stay away from the aspartame, the NutraSweet, and you want to stick to a natural, no calorie sweetener like Stevia. So we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit of Stevia on here, not a whole lot. And then we're going to go ahead and just begin mixing this. Okay, and again, just kind of going over some of these benefits when you're looking at uh, the broccoli, again, loaded in calcium. Again, a couple servings of Broccoli has as much calcium as milk, also loaded in vitamin C, as much, cal as much vitamin C as an orange. Sunflower seeds loaded in vitamin E, also loaded in B vitamins and magnesium. Okay, and magnesium is very important for the health of your bones as well. A few other benefits here are the broccoli, also high in vitamin K. Actually, vitamin K is the glue that holds your, bone together, uh, your bones together. So very, very important nutrients. And the onions contain allicin and sulfur, Sulfur, which is a natural detoxifier, and allicin is a natural antibacterial, so it's going to kill bad bacteria, viruses, and parasites in your system, kind of cleaning out your entire body. So we're getting close here to having this done, and like I said, this is great to take to work as a, as a snack. It's great for dinner, actually doing it as just kind of a side salad, um, and I think, you know, you're going to bring, bring this to, uh, uh, you know, different places you go, and people are going to love it. So that's kind of it there, and we'll go ahead and put this on a plate and have you check it out. I hope you love this broccoli salad.